After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops just threw me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head on the lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Just get me out, just get me out. Every day when I come through these doors, I change. I'm a totally different person. I have to be tough when I need to be. But then at the same time, try to understand not everybody that is in here is a bad person. Sometimes they're just put in a hard situation. They make wrong choices. And a lot of these people, it's their first time, and they probably won't be back again. We're waiting for a code five that's about to come in. The male, all we know is he's combative. Okay. Oh. He's on PCP What's and meth, that? and he's been on a bench for four days. Uh, he's run around naked. Christopher, Christopher, if you want to help, come on, man. So you never know. Here we go. Just chill, just relax, relax, relax. Just take deep breaths, deep breaths. Judging by your red face, you have an alcohol problem. <laughs> I bet. No. Oh, who's laughing? Who's laughing? Hit that guy? Hit your face is better than his. <laughs> I bet you guys have been at the same bar every day. No, <laughs> no. He was gonna let me go. <laughs> I would not pay. Stop me off, man, please. Please, I don't want to go through it. No mistakes, guys. Please, I won't fight back. For his own safety, he'd be taking up the 2C because it's a better place to watch him. They watch him every four minutes. Uh, there's two officers up there to keep a track of him just for his own safety. He obviously you just can't put him in a cell because just the state of his mind is just going to work out. He needs to be closely watched. They're wrong! Call action 13! Action 13! Since this gentleman is going back and forth emotionally, um, we can't trust him to be out here in pre-arrest on his own on good behavior. So we'll probably take him either for a cooling down period or take him up to 2C, which is isolation. I've been trying to do good. I've been, I've been behaving myself and trying to focus on my wife and my kids. And I got a, I got a daughter who's been down. in a wheelchair since the birth. You Back and forth. You crying one minute. He's angry. You don't care. One minute he's completely calm, and the other minute he's screaming. So he's uh, emotionally unstable, and we're going to keep him in the restraint chair. Why'd you let go of me? For your benefit. You okay, quiet time, Sarah. You know what? You know what? Quiet time. Here, you sit here in the corner and think about what you did tonight. You know what? I didn't do nothing wrong. And screaming again. Tell me what happened with him. He got into a fight with his brother. It started as a, at a bar. They came home. I guess he got beat up at a bar. Uh, when they got home, he wanted to drive away drunk. His brother refused to, to let him have the keys of the car. Try to grab the keys, and that's what started the fist fight. When we arrived, he was real belligerent, so he was pretty combative at that point. OK, cool. Thank you. Joseph? Can you try to stay calm so they can get you out of that chair? Because right now, you go from calm to angry very quick. What were you drinking? Very little. I don't know. Hard so, stuff? All I know is cops, like, attack me tonight, and I'm all up. Yeah, but there's got to be a reason. Cops just don't go around attacking people without a really oh, good reason. Oh, yeah, because they got a vendetta because they don't like me with their own. So they got a vendetta. I, I just I don't understand what you're talking about. I was silly. I fell in love with a white cop. 
A, a cop's wife? And that's why I'm going through this bull. Does your wife know about this? Yes, my wife knows. My Shh. wife knows about this for the last two years. Church voice. I'm right here. And my wife thinks I'm a crazy man because all my life, cops have been me. All my life! Are you mad at me? No, no, because you actually, you're pretty, pretty, you're pretty girl. Thank you. You don't want to yell at pretty girls then. No. Is it, is that dark haired girl? She's right there. Hey, why don't you get on your knees, girl? It's not nice to say. Joe, I'm going to leave you alone because you're not fun to talk to. And you're kind of mean. And your mom raised you better than that. So you calm down and I'll come talk to you when you're ready to be nice. Joseph, we want to get you out of honey, that chair. Honey, you need to calm down. Honey, when people play God, it's wrong, sweetie. You don't know, have the right to play God to make these judgments. Don't you think if you're going to make a decision, though, Joseph, you should man up to the consequences? Yes. But you know what? When God put my daughter in a wheelchair, whose decision was that? Does that have anything to do with us, though? It's got a lot to do with everything. Because you know what? Now I know what it feels like for my daughter to be restricted in a wheelchair. And I curse God for putting my daughter in a wheelchair. Joseph, because you can't control yourself, we're going to take you upstairs, OK? So some time has gone by after uh, Joseph came in. The alcohol has worn off, so we're going to go talk to him. I'm going to see how he's doing. Hey, Joseph. How you doing? Better. You're better? You look better. You got enough sleep? You know, I'm surprised you, you remember me from last night. You're a totally different person. You have no alcohol in your system now. You're more calm. Yeah, I know. It's like Dr. Jekyll or Mr. Hyde. True. You're probably a whole lot nicer. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember when you were in the chair last night? Oh, that was upsetting me being restrained. I know. Yeah. I was an ass. I apologize. It's all good. It's all good. It's all the alcohol, like I said. You got a lot of bruising from the scuffle with your brother. For you not to remember, you must have drank must a lot. Have been, yeah. I know I got an alcohol problem, and I'm an alcoholic. But my baby girl, she's 16. And, yeah. And uh, you know she's been going through surgeries and surgeries and. I really need to be out of here and go back to work so my insurance can kick in because since I've been laid off for 18 months, she needs the medical bad. Once you see the judge, you'll be able to get out of here and hopefully get on a program for yourself and for your daughter. I wish you the best. Good luck. Hopefully he'll be able to get into a program and uh, get through it, knowing that his daughter needs that medical attention and uh, him keeping a job, which means no alcohol. They said I grabbed their neck. I came in there. She accosted me, and this one gentleman out of five took me out of four people. Where were you at? My own home. My mom's dying. She's dying. Have you been drinking tonight? I've had a couple drinks, but I deserve to. My mom's dying. What were you drinking? I don't need to tell you anything. Just. I'm gonna see what's going on with this uh, young lady right here. That's the opposite of what happened with why you arrested her, brought her in. 20 years minimum. Sir, why was she arrested tonight? You did it. You are guilty as charged. Domestic violence. Some roommates. Domestic violence. She grabbed the neck of her own roommate. I grabbed the neck after she So what did you actually charge her with? Just that deep battery. Okay. My mom's dying, and I need to be there right now. My mom's dying. She's been going through some mood swings. No. Come on, I'm back over here. You caused me from being at my mom's funeral. She's very agitated, very upset. My mom's dying. On the one hand, she says she's not suicidal, but the way she's talking, I have my doubts. So uh, we're going to put her in the French chair until she calms down a little bit. Ouch! God! Do you know what you're doing? You're making me eternally bleed. When I die right now, I'm telling you right now, she's dying, and they have taken me away when somebody beat me up. Yeah, make sure. You better believe it.
Ma'am, we'll give you a little cooling off period so you can calm down. I'll die now. I'm going to die now. I want you to calm this down. Calm down. Right now. Calm down, ma'am. Right now, on the 16th, I'm going to die. That's How much right. have you drank tonight? I didn't drink tonight. You got to calm down. That way we can get you out of this well, chair. Well, my dad just died. I'm okay. not dead. Both my brothers are dead. If I'm bleeding internally, I left okay. the hospital so well, I can Well, you smell like my... alcohol, so we'll just let you sleep that off, all right? No, but that's all not right. it. I guess she just needs to sit there and wait a little bit longer before she can come out of the chair. We'll check out back on with her in about uh, 15 minutes. Okay, so hold still for a minute. Before I leave, I'd like the pictures more done what that she did to me. Okay, come this way. That Let's go back out and have a seat right there. Okay, I'll go. All right, you've got to stay calm though, remember? Yes, I remember. All right. Good, just have a seat right there. Boy, there's an awful lot of sandals. I'm glad that he was such a gentleman. He knew that I wore small. Yeah, we got them perfect for you, huh? Yeah, I'm so happy to be matching. You seem a lot calmer, though. That's really nice. Oh, good. Well, maybe we can uh, get you in the court and everything. No, well, I'm not. Oh, that's a secret Hold note. Hold on, I have to see no, it. No, it's a secret it? note. It's a note one of the people gave me. A Who? Special note. Who? One of the people cleaning. Let me see it. I have to see it. I'll give it back to you. Let me see it. He just said that I was fine and that he could ride him. It wasn't anything bad. It says, what's up, fine girl? My name is Phil. I got till October 15th. October 15th. Till I get out of here, can you write me? And when I get out, can we hook up, send you letters? Please. Okay. You didn't do anything wrong. Please, I'll, I'll relax. No. I'll give it back to you in a few minutes, okay? No, don't get him okay. in Don't worry about it. About it. I do worry about it. She had a, a note from one of the workers stuffed in the cuff of her pants. Um, you know, they know that they don't supposed to be doing that. Yeah, and so he was to talk to him. Right enough to sign his own name and ID number on here, so yeah, it's not like he's going to be able to deny that it was him. Yeah, so I think we should talk to him, maybe give him cat because they're not supposed to be doing that. Okay. He didn't do anything wrong. He didn't do anything wrong. He just said hello. Yeah. Sure. Just bring Phil, come here. Stand right here on the wall. Yep. How long have you been working down here now? Uh, three days. Three days? You know you're not supposed to be talking to any inmates down here, right? Oh, okay. I know her from somewhere. Where do you know her from? Oh, God. You know, it was like to a friend of a friend. How come she doesn't know you? Maybe she don't remember me. I don't know. I think you're lying to me right now. You know, you said when you get out of here, you want to hook up. So it's not just about having her to have someone here to write to. Yeah, hook up like friends, like hang out, you know? Mm. Receiving any good time and work time? Yeah. I think your worker status is pretty much done. But you know better than this. It's in the handbook. It's in the rule book. What? Rule You've been book. here long enough. So don't play the games with me, or I'll go for all your time. All right. Let's post it up everywhere. Go back in there. We'll come back and get you in a little bit. So he's going to lose his worker status. Hopefully learn his lesson. If they do, give him the chance to be a worker again. He'll uh, take advantage of it and get his good time work done. Um, this guy just fell off of his chair. Possible seizure. But he was hyperventilating earlier. He's responding to the ammonia. I'm okay. I know you're yeah. okay. Let me alone. Why'd you flop on the floor? Let me alone. Why do you keep doing this? <laughs> I can't. I can't. Why do you keep breathe? Playing, why do you keep playing like this? You're breathing fine. You're holding your breath. And Let me go. I'm a fire. I'm fine. Let me go. You said that last time, but now you just flopped yourself on the floor again. So what is really going on? I'm okay. <laughs> okay. Stay sitting in the I'm okay. Okay. You're intoxicated and you're looking for attention. What do you want? Nothing? Then breathe normal, Daniel. Stop acting. You've been arrested, you have to deal with it, Daniel. Daniel's been doing this off and on since he came in being arrested. He was arrested for a DUI charge, which he said that he wasn't driving his truck at the time that he was arrested um, from the witness statements of his DUI. And so now he's trying to act up. And uh, he's done this twice already, so 
Hopefully he'll just sit calm now and breathe like a normal human being. Let me breathe, let me breathe. This is the fourth time he's done this now. Leave me alone. Let me breathe. Class two? No. Oh. DUI. Yeah. Let me alone. Let right? me get down in my seat. All right, take him. Stand up. Go. Walk. I just wanted to breathe. I didn't even get out of my seat. Man. And now all of a sudden oh, you're now all of a sudden you're breathing fine. Talking fine. So I was talking not fine too. If you guys yeah. leave me alone, could fall on the no. floor. He's a DUI where uh, the officer actually got him after he's done driving. But all the witness statements got him as his little DUI. All right, come on in. You just let me be in my seat. I've been fine. What's going on, Daniel? Nothing. Nothing. I walked out of Albertsons. I got arrested for DUI walking out of Albertsons. Were you drinking Stop. earlier today? Was I? Yeah. Yes. OK. Yes. So, yes. You, so you were intoxicated when they approached you? Yes. OK. They arrested me for drunken driving. And I didn't have a car anywhere around. That's how stupid they are. Oh, so they you. started beating me. They go, where's your truck? Where's your truck? We saw you get dropped off. And they start smashing me with their nightsticks. Where's your truck? Where's your truck? I told them, quit hitting me. I got scars. And, and, and I see no bruising at all. Well, listen, you going to let me talk? I have 18 and a half years experience of dealing with people like you. And I'm telling you right now, you are not beat with nightsticks. There's no marks on you. There's no welds. There's no red marks. In my book, you're lying. Your time's up. No more. OK. You just sit there and be quiet. On your case, were you drinking when you came in here? What's no, the deal? No, I don't do drugs. I don't you don't do drugs? Okay, well, why are you acting that way when you came in? Um, I was just being quiet, that's all. Just You're kinda, just being quiet? Just kind of tired, yeah. I saw you kick your shoes at the officer. You're not ready to come out here yet either, are you? Okay. Okay? That's, that's it? I'd rather go, but I mean, it's up to you guys again, so. I understand. Yeah, it is up to us. So, we'll leave him here also. Okay. You Sounds guys. good. Anyway, sir. Couple of liars no, together. Your time's done. Your time's done. You give me the brain pain. I don't like getting the brain pain on my Friday. Yeah, you give me a headache too. They're obviously both just lying and trying to concoct their own little stories to make themselves look good. Yeah. Oh wow, I'm scared. Hold it down. I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh yeah, let's bring the officers on. Yeah, let's bring them on. Relax. I'm, I'm relaxed. You were. Whoa, 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 I'm relaxed. Whoa. You face this rear wall right here. Spread your feet. Mm -hmm. Do you have stockings on? Yes, I do. It's got my net, too. What else do you got on? Pantyhose. Pantyhose? And an outfit. Yep. And do. Is it laundry day? Yeah, oh, yeah. Pink. Wow. Right pink. That is pink, sir. Oh, yeah. What's. Mm -hmm. That so is. It's like. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah. Pink. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Is that. You were going to what? I didn't plan to share that with you guys. Oh, well, who are you going to share it with? My girlfriend. We're going to go ahead and uh, have you change out some of your clothes. You know what I'm saying? That's so fine. Like, yeah, you don't want to wear that to jail. Take your shirt off first. Stay, stay facing, facing the wall. Stay sir. facing the wall the whole time. Just you know what? In fact, we could probably uh, just have him take it off. And let's have him step, step, step right, right, right over here. There, right there. there you go. Corner right here. Okay, go ahead and remove your pants, sir. Much for this night. Okay. Have your pants, sir. Okay, go ahead and take the uh, pink nighty thing off. Mm -hmm. Face the wall. We're gonna give you your clothes back. You got uh, arrested for a DUI tonight. Is that what happened? Evidently, yes. Sir. What happened inside the blood draw room that got you agitated? Um, I've been arrested before, but uh, there's some things that just are personal, so I don't okay. to say. That's understandable. Okay. No problem. I'm going to have you come over here and have a seat right over here on the wooden bench now, okay? Yeah. All right, we're going to give you a cool off period in here. Good to go? Yeah, good to go. Thank you. All right. We'll be back to talk to you in a little while. You know, I'm not sure exactly what got him started out there in uh, pre-arrest, but 
I'm glad we did get him back here and get his uh, pink lingerie off. I want your people to watch me have a seizure. She's pissed because she's hungry. Ma'am, did you tell Sarge about what we talked about? Yes, I did. You expressed that? You said yes. that you haven't ate since early this morning? That's right. And then you just came to jail now, but you know if you have seizures that you should eat, but you chose not to eat because you chose to drink instead. That's right. There we go. So I just don't see how it's our fault. I didn't say it's your fault. No, you did. You just said we're going to let you have a seizure. You're no, gonna you're going to let yourself. You chose alcohol over food. Not very good prioritizing, I'm just saying. Okay, so now that I'm here and now that you've so it's our problem me, now. Yes, I see that. Yes, I didn't arrest you, your but okay. <laughs> Shh, you guys aren't helping. Oh well, why should they help? Why should they help you when they've been sitting here since one, two? I will calm down and conserve your energy, ma'am. You get over to see medical, they will give you food. My blood level is at an 8. It's supposed to be at 11. I just got out of the hospital. You just told us all that. Sarge just told you the answer. What, what are you going to argue with? You will get food from medical staff if they deem that necessary. OK, how long is it going to take for me to see medical? Probably an hour, an hour and a half. An hour, hour and a half. It usually doesn't take that long. So relax and conserve your energy. When I kill over and I have a seizure, so you're a head. You will hold yourself personally responsible. You heard that right. OK, listen. OK, I'm getting tired of it. The sergeant says he would help you out. You're what so more cute. do you want? What more do you want? You're so cute. OK, Look let me tell you what. Are you suicidal? No. OK, no. now here's your choices. You can either go to the next room and be seen by medical and get crackers, or I will take you to a side cell based on your behavior, and you will not get anything. It's a choice. You've got to behave while you're out here, so just like everybody else. Cute. Hey, thank you. Stand up. Stand up. This is me helping you stand up. Walk. There you go. It was a bad decision, ma'am. Very bad decision. Why? Because you're cute. Oh, I appreciate the flattery, but I don't swing that way. I said she was cute, and she is like man. You're disrupting my area. You are manhandling. Oh, you would like that too much. Spread your feet. You don't think you're cute. No, I don't. Come on. Put your knees up on the bench. Knees on the bench. There you go. Come on. You're not getting our phone numbers, though. You're still cute. Oh, thank you, honey. See how that goes? Now, where's my ring? So she comes in, she's demanding, saying that she's hungry and she's going to have seizures. Mm -hmm. And I asked her when the last time she ate, and she said it was early this morning. I go, what have you done since from then until now? She goes, well, I've been drinking. So I'm like, okay, well, where's the accountability? You have seizures, but you're going to drink instead of trying to eat. So that's what she's been upset about, is because we won't give her any food. I'm not gay, but you're so cute. Ma'am, you're going to be in here for a little bit until you can calm down. So I'll check on you in a couple hours, and I hope you're doing better. Officer, officer, I want to go home. I want to go home. I'm Canadian, and I'm going to sue everybody in Las Vegas. So you know. I'm just trying to get you off these cuffs, all right? I'm trying to go back to Vancouver, back to Canada, the land of the free, and everybody who's in America. So I want to talk to the Canadian Embassy right now. I know my rights. Right. Yeah. I want to talk to the embassy. I'm sensing a theme. A lot of females and a lot of drama with them. I want to talk to the Canadian embassy. No, ma'am. I want to talk to the Canadian embassy. I know my rights. I am not stupid. I know my rights. Well, you're acting really stupid right now. You don't have that right. I want to go home. You have any medical problems? Taking any medicine for anything? No. The Canadian okay. Embassy right okay. now. Goodbye. Come on. Okay. Have a seat in the back row. Yes, you want to tell me what happened? She's been charged with violating airport rules. I guess the airline lost a piece of her luggage. So she was in the baggage claim office trying to work things out. And she just went off on them. She started cussing, screaming, and giving them a hard time. I tried to give her a chance to walk away. She, she wouldn't take it. So. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ma'am, I want every badge number that with me tonight okay because I know my rights give me a reason why I'm in handcuffs because you know what I know my rights I have done nothing 
wrong. Here. Can I ask you something? Talk to me, please. You'll answer me? Okay. Have you been drinking? Yes, I drank on the plane. But I'm trying to understand Be why I'm in here. Because right now, why I'm you here. listen. I you don't listen. Nothing. You don't listen. You don't listen, and I'm just guessing here that maybe alcohol has made you a little bit more emotional, and you didn't listen to the people that stopped you, and that's how come you're here. Okay, man, I wanna get my handcuffs off. I wanna go back to Canada, the land of the free, because you know what, America is not the land of the free. Let's just leave it alone, because you just get more upset the more you think about it, and that's not helping you out here at all. Good luck to you, ma'am. That's just an example of people coming to Vegas and not able to control their, their alcohol intake. But you can't tell them differently, not until they sober up and realize. It's been a little bit since I've talked to the inmate we took back to the side cell, so we're gonna go back, see how she's doing. What did you do out there to get you in here? Actually, I'm not gay. I'm sorry. I know, I know. You, but you're trying to be funny in front of all the other inmates. Why are you here? I slapped my daughter. Okay, so you got into a domestic with your daughter? What was happening? I was drinking and she wanted me to stop. How old is she? 22. You feel bad, don't you? Yeah. I can tell. You're an alcoholic, ma'am? Do you see a pattern here? People are trying to help you and you don't see it. I had four years. Okay, well, I hope you're doing better. I'll be back. Things are looking better for her. Maybe we can get her out and get her processed. Right now we have a call for a code 5 male that's coming in. That just means that an inmate is coming in either physically resisting or combative. He came in on a DV but he was able to be talked down and he chose to walk in, which is definitely a better way that saves us from the extra work. Hopefully he can remain calm. If he doesn't, then he'll end up in the side cell. Basically, he got arrested for uh, battery domestic violence, assault with deadly weapon, uh, intimidating a PO, and uh, malicious destruction of county property. He decided to kick out our rear window of our patrol car, so that's why he's here, that's why he's down here. Thank you so much. It's too tight, man. Come on. Magnet off. He's very up and down. And that's actually really common for code fives that come in. And they choose to walk in, but then any little thing can escalate the situation. And their mood can change. You can't hurt him, my goddamn See, I just, I really don't think he's going to make it. He will end up in a side cell because we can't have this kind of attitude out here in pre arrest where the other inmates can see. I respect you, you respect me. Once inside the side, so we're going to do another pat search on him to make sure we didn't miss anything from the first time. He's going to stay in here until he can sober up and cool down. And he's getting very upset. However, we need him to hold still until we can leave safely. And now that he's uh, secured in the side, so I'm sure he'll talk and yell a little bit. If he continues with the head slamming, he'll have to be removed and taken up to isolation. But we'll, that's definitely what we're going to do here. And the officer's job is to monitor him while he's in the side cell. Hey, Sergeant Geller, he's banging his head pretty bad. Chill out. I respect, respect me. I respect you. Huh. Too much liquor, too much drugs. Man, that, that, that's nothing but respect. Give me her. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's not respect. That's true. Almost threw up in my mouth a little bit. I'm okay though. You talk about respect, and then you talk like that to one of the female officers. That ain't respect. How would you like it if it was your daughter, huh? What would you do if some guy got your daughter's face and licked his tongue like he's some animal? You don't talk to my officer like that. Understood? Understood. He's all talk. You're forgiven. <laughs> Tomorrow he'll be a totally different guy. Yeah. Here, sit there. No, let me sit there. No, yes. you don't get a choice. The girls sit oh, back here. Oh, come on. Oh, there you go. So, I know, just sit down. Why are you Don't be nasty. I'm not being nasty yes, to you. Yes, you are. Yes, no. you are. Okay. Yes, you are. I'm nasty yes, to you because you, you have to sit in the back and you can't sit in the front. You're, nice. you're being 
extremely rude, though. So apparently she ran into a curb. They had her on camera, and she cleverly gets out of the driver's seat, goes around to the passenger seat, thinking that would keep her from getting a DUI. Unfortunately, no, she failed our sobriety test, and the uh, open container of Manhattan was in there. So. so this is her second one this year? Second one this year. And then one back in 94? Yes. <laughs> so how fast were you driving when you hit the curb? I didn't really know I hit the curb. Oh, you didn't? No. And what is this we're doing? Pardon me? It's called a blood draw. For what this reason? This is what I read you in the car. Okay. Yeah, you read you your rights, and now you're getting blood draw because I read you, you were drinking and driving. Consent? Uh, no, I wasn't drinking and driving. Okay. The rim is broken. The tire is flattened, and the rim is broken. You hit mm, it pretty hard. No. Yeah, actually, it is. You had to hit something pretty hard to do that. Okay. Gotcha. All right, Santa for me, ma'am. <laughs> Turn your body to the right, face that direction. It's like I'm taking off my underwear. Do you ask the men to take off their underwear? Well, if they're wearing well, stockings, yes. No, do you ask them to take off their underwear? Yeah. In no, jail, you have to take your stockings well. off. But they cost $5, isn't it? So I'm not going to just leave I'm going to get them back there. I'm going to get them back. Let's come on over here and have a seat. I have never done this before. Bobby, no. Just yeah, you were just here in March. I don't this care. is the same thing. I didn't show you my belly button you before. Go. What the hell? Takes. You're disgusting. You know that? You are you're a disgusting woman. Well, Thank Bobby, you. I've I heard understand words. you're okay. angry, oh, but you don't gotta take your anger out on the officers that are here. I do when they are being mean to me. And she is being mean to me. No, she's not. She's being mean to me. Yeah. Put your hands behind your back. Uh, we're going to go ahead and isolate you in a side cell, away from everybody else, because the officers Rates. really don't need your uh, disrespectful Rainbow. comments. Yeah. Listen, can I ask you all something? Nope. That time's over. Can I ask you all Go ahead and lay her down on the bunk there. There you go. Ow! Ow! Relax. You stay right there. Don't move until the door shuts. Broke my glasses. Broke my glasses. I hope you're all proud. Just trying to finish it up. As soon as we started talking about uh, taking off the pantyhose, that's when she really lost it and refused to cooperate. Is it your first time getting a DUI? Six years ago, Six years ago in California? Yeah. Put your hands on top of your head. So you, uh, you were running away from your husband and get, to get away from him, because you said, was he, did you say he was hitting you? He hit you? I've been here two times. Has he ever gone to jail for that? Yeah. All the way down to the end, sit in the first seat. She tells us she's been drinking all night. She uh, says that her and her husband had an argument, and this is the third time she's been to jail. And uh, she's been arrested for domestic violence several times. Husband's been twice. So it's Then she had her kids in the car, and they weren't in their seatbelts? No, none of them had seatbelts on. There was oh four, four kids in the car. It's a good thing you guys went, showed up when you did. So, Ruby, do you think you're going to be going back to your I just want husband? my children back. Yeah. Have a seat right here. I know you were talking to me about how you had a history about yeah, but you guys never bring him to jail. And it's every time you guys never take him, and he talks such a. And I know I drink, I do, but I wasn't drinking and and taking off and driving like, you know what? I know it's wrong still. I'm not excusing that. Sure, I understand that. But what he does is so much worse. This is a copy of your charges. That's for you. You know, when you get in the next room, sit with the girls on the right and don't talk to the fellows on the left. Listen up for your name and don't get up without asking, all right? Go straight ahead. First row on the right. And we'll see. I mean, she's got some pretty good charges, but she might be able to qualify for an OR. I don't know. I think she probably will, but she's actually lucky with her kids in the car. They could have charged her with more. They could have charged her with child, child endangerment. They didn't do that, so um, she kind of got lucky. Are you feeling a little bit better now that you slept it off a little bit? No? I feel fine. Feel fine? Well, that's good. So we just want to get you through this. As long as you don't, you know, I know you were agitated earlier, and hopefully you're not agitated now and get you processed. And we can get you out of here, okay? You think you can do that? Great. 
Sarge. I think she'll be fine. She's also yeah. playing a little bit of a denial. That's all right. Whatever works. All right, come on over here. You're going to sit with the girls on the right-hand side? Don't talk to the fellas? Okay. We'll uh, give her a chance and just monitor her behavior out here. Yeah, I think she'll be okay now. She's sober up. Reality is setting in. You know, thinking about everything. I think she'll be fine and be able to continue the process and go home. Do you have any nice meals, raisin plates? Uh, no, sure, no, no, not at all. Okay. okay. Have you ever been here before? I have. Yeah. Like warrant. You missed the packets, everything. I'm clean. I'm pretty much a square. Pretty much a what? Square. I just work, dental hygienist, and um, pretty much that's it. Hygienist during the day, stripper during the night. So what's going on with her? She ran the back of a lady in an accident. She works in Tavos Club. I was out drinking all night. And crashed over on Twain, Narville. Wow. And then she's trying to be flattering and flirting to get out of a DUI, which is over the limit. And we arrested her. We draw blood and do her breath and charge her a DUI and uh, position uh, narcotics. Is that it? Work. That's it. Work. You got in an accident? I, I didn't stop on time. I guess I was going fast. But I barely hit him. It was like five miles an hour. And whatever. I'll take responsibility for it. I'm not tripping. I don't like to argue with people. So you know what? I'll pay for it. She breath or blood? Breath first and blood. Come on, let's go talk to the nurse. Go see the nurse real quick. Don't bang your head. Do not bang your head, sir. Your own cops tell you're corrupt. Do not bang your head. Just have a seat, sir, right now. All right, right now. What are you here for? For nothing. I don't even know. It's nothing. For my girlfriend beating me up. Oh, yeah, you'll be here for a little while then. Yeah. Yeah. She has no scratches on her, and everybody else told her that she beat me up. I want her phone call real quick. Are you from Vegas? Chicago. Okay. Here's the deal in Vegas. Never gotten a problem in my no. life. Ever. No. Here's, here's the deal. Let me explain how. Let me explain how you're doing this. You guys are works. corrupt and that's no. fine. My dad told me. My dad's a lawyer in Chicago. He knows what you guys are. There, he's uh, basically beating up on, I think it's his wife. And uh, he got arrested for DV. He was all calm, acting like he needed medical beforehand. Since we got jail, he started acting all crazy. So he was kind of asleep in your car? Yeah. Woke him up to get him in here. And then as soon as I got to the door, he started going nuts. Maybe he realized that he's going to jail. I don't know. Wow, and he beat up his wife. Mm-hmm. Wow. Don't break my hand! Whoa. Hey, whoa, whoa. Calm down, man. Calm down. Calm down. What makes you better than me? I work for a living. I pay my tax. Because some lady says that I haven't told her to leave my apartment. Calm down. It's my apartment. I did nothing wrong. I just got home from work. I got punched in the face twice, and now I'm in jail. You haven't had nothing to drink since you got off work at 108 degrees. Come on. Let it break it, break it. Punch me in the face. What is this, like Rodney King just reverse? Double locking right there. I wanted to call my dad, who's a lawyer. I'm not saying nothing. Double lock. Change. Then you hold me in jail forever. Because I'll never say nothing if I get my dad here. I don't think I used to meet your maker. What's going on? I didn't have no problems with my wife. She woke me up by slapping me twice. That was it. Where do you guys get these problems from? I'm just trying to find out. Ask the neighbors. Ask anybody. I didn't talk. Look at my hands, dude. Come on. I got no scratches. I got no hands. All I got is where she slapped me. And you guys arrest me? You want you understand my point of view? I've done nothing. I've never had a felony in my life. I've done nothing, dude. Not, I've done nothing. Not I'm not even kidding. I've done absolutely nothing, dude. Nothing. Well, I'm concerned right now about your behavior. And right now you're... I'm frustrated. I, I totally understand that. So that's why you're... I'll sleep there. somewhere else. Okay. I'll go. I'll run a motel room. Just try to relax. <laughs> Three red X's for your money, these two for your property. Okay, um, purse, high heel shoes. I have high heel shoes on? Yes. No, I have. Either on or in your property. You had them in your purse, I think. Oh, you had okay. Those my, boots. My, my, my stripper clothes, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you had those boots. Okay. Okay. Here's your copy of your charges. Okay. okay. Remember the rules for sitting out here in open booking? Okay. I can use the phone, though, correct? Yes. So did you learn your lesson, you think? About what? Drinking and driving. That's why you're here. You I'm remember? not really a drinker, to be honest with you. Drugs, drink. 
marijuana, drugs. yeah. But to be honest, I'm not that kind of like. I don't do it on a daily basis, you know, one or two shots. I guess I shouldn't have been driving off of a shop, but and they stopped suddenly. But yeah, you're right. Yeah, you... I, I suppose I learned my lesson, you know? No doubt about that at all. All right, live and learn. Come out this way. You're gonna call your name. We have our fender hair in the restraint chair, approximately iron 15 minutes. How you feeling? You're doing good? Yeah. Okay, let, let me explain what we're going to do here, okay? We're going to take you out of the chair. The officer's going to give you specific commands, all those commands, okay? Then we're going to start you in the process, and then just get you through as quick as possible. Okay? Any questions about that? Can my socks? Can you have your socks? Yeah. I think we can find your socks. I get, like, I don't know. I just don't like wearing socks. Yeah, yeah. We have sandals. Um, yeah, we've got some sandals over there. All right. This man came to us uh, charged with domestic violence uh, and another example of uh, how we see citizens in uh, their worst condition and uh, hopefully by the time he leaves here uh, he will have uh, straightened up and got his life on track. Brian, what, what do you do? I'm a singer and I'm a drummer. What do you Drum. sing? Sing and drum? I sing about the survival and the hope of life. What kind of music? Like, I was always in like classic metal, you know? Classic. But my originals come out like Something you hear on the Light 102 channel. You ever seen some sick stuff in the car? You know, like... <laughs> you mean like standing classic? in my shadow And I'm dealing with When life is stealing me We're living in a world of frown Take these off. Keep singing them. Right now Take your jacket. Right now Very nice. Wow! Did you hear that? <laughs> Get some backup vocals? Yeah. That's impressive, sir. Mm. Go down that second row, sit in the last chair, and wait for medical to call you. Okay? Yeah, thanks, guys. No, thank, thank you. you, sir. I'm just stand over here and sing my songs, all right? What did you bring him in for? He's got a Nobel warrant for drugs. How'd you find him? He was uh, sitting at a rock sitting at a rock uh, bar, and they asked him to leave, so the bouncers called us up because he was refusing to leave. But, uh, yeah, he, he knows the uh, bartender pretty well, he was saying. But, and he sang to you the whole way down here? Yeah, the whole way, and then I, I had to ask him to stop so he could save his voice and serenade the uh, people at CCDC. Totally appreciate that. Thank Thanks. you. <laughs> I smoked the best pot you're ever going to smoke in your life a couple, couple hours ago. You know, just a little tight, just a little shot of THC, just a little shot of THC, boom, boom, just a little shot of THC, boom, boom. boom. Oh, oh! Come on, rock star, let's go. Do you, do you have a, a song to fit this situation right now? Express yourself. What do you feel like in song right now? What do I feel like in song right in now? In song. Jimmy Rock's going down, 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 down. In a ring of fire. <laughs> I do, I didn't see right but the only thing that I'm worried about uh, is if I'm doing this at like 50 years old, you know? If I never got that record okay. deal. That's what I'm worried How about. How old are you now? 38. You got plenty of time. You're going to get that record deal. Come on. Let's go back. But Metro. What about Metro? Metro's got mad love for Jimmy Rock, though, don't they? Have a seat. Sammy. Time to relax. All right, you gonna be okay for a minute? Yeah, I'm just thinking of um, my um, my next number one hit. Because this is all just temporary, you know? Absolutely, do you write? I write. You gotta hear my songs, though. I wrote a country hit. You don't sing country. Yeah, I did. Everywhere we go, we got our job site, radio. Huh? Keep going. You like that? I'm feeling it, but keep going. Come on. Well, we come back from the weekend, and things were slow, but all we heard was that job side radio. It's a mega hit. Wouldn't Big and Rich and um, Toby Keith buy that song? I could totally picture them singing Job music. site radio? Yeah, job Everywhere site radio. Everywhere we go, we got our job site radio. That's cool. You're very creative. I am. Keep singing. I'll be right back. Hi, James. 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 James.
Hi, how are Jim. you? Jim. Jim? Vietnam. Vietnam. Turning. Vietnam. Awesome, you rock. Can you spread your feet for me, please? That's because you're amazing. Spread your feet. You ever think sharp on anything that could cut me, make me cry? Okay. I appreciate knowing that, sir. I ain't doing nothing. I ain't doing nothing. You're a funny guy. What? Officer Clark, he's, he's very touchy, Billy. <laughs> Look at, see this officer right there? You see that officer right there? That's Officer Leha. Can you sing for her? A ballad. I'm gonna tell you one more. Tell her, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a rock star. I did a rock star. This is inmate karaoke. You're next. Think of the song you're gonna sing. Well, no, I don't want to make karaoke. Yeah. I don't think... yeah. Those are some awesome vocals, sir. We Maybe you should listen to him more. How does that not make you happy? No, I don't want to bother you. Thank you. I appreciate it, sir. You're awesome. No, because you're in control of your law. I've seen you before. I can't say the real thing. You, you're like, uh, come on. See what I'm saying? There's your buddy. I'm Go with your buddy. He's not going to hurt you. <laughs> He's a big teddy bear. All right. Let's go. Let me get you out of these chains, all right? But they tell me I'm, you know, I'm delusional and, you no. know. No. What is your story? My story is um, I come across the country all by myself, you know, to try to achieve my rock and roll dreams because I got so much pain. I got pain. I, I can you see know? the pain. I went to Florida in 03. On top of your head, sir. Because I was stabbed eight times in my chest. Oh, let me Wait. see that stab wound again. Oh, you got your ear now? Where, where's that stab wound at? Um, Sorry, Deloach. Right here. Right. Well, I okay, listen to the officer and then we'll eight talk. Eight times, you know? Okay, listen to the officer real quick. Go ahead. Thank you. What were you doing tonight to get you brought in here? I went to Jackson's bar, and I was just looking for this guitar player, and one of the bar bouncers decided that he was going to check my ID and everything, and so I wouldn't leave. I guess the bartender actually called Metro, because they, they can't handle a true star like me. They can't handle a New York, Baltimore, true rock and roll wild heart like me. Oh! Oh! Okay. All right, no, it's ready, time for your property. So we can get you rolling. I must keep my dreams alive because there's too many people telling me to shut up. And we're not telling you shut up because we really like your music and all, but you know in the next room, you can't be uh, as loud as you were in the front room, okay? You know you got a fence for it, right? Yeah, that's it's why I'm a, here, right? It's an old right? thing, yeah. Out here, you're gonna sit on the left-hand side. Don't speak with the women. It's a crazy night. Right. I get some entertainment, but this has probably been the best stuff I've seen in a long time. Hopefully officers out here appreciate his music as much as we did out free arrest. Can you please tell me why I'm kicking and banging in here? You know why I'm kicking and banging? Because I'm by myself. I can't stand to be alone. That's the worst thing you can do to me is put me alone. And now y'all have put me in a chair. Let me tell you something about Las Vegas. I will never come to jail in Vegas again. Lord have mercy on my soul. This is just too damn much for me. Take me to L.A. I'd rather go to jail in L.A. than in Las Vegas. Because this is some bull right here. This is some bull They got my ass strapped down like I'm goddamn psychotic and crazy. And I know damn well I ain't crazy. I just need a damn drink. Who got a damn drink? I need a drink. That's the only thing wrong with me. I need something to drink. I need a damn drink. You gotta get through this process in order to get out of well, here. Well, when can I go home? Well, I'm not a criminal. Okay, I didn't say you were a criminal, but they've already explained to you that you have to stay here a minimum of 12 hours, and after that, you have to post your bail if you want to go home. Well, what is my thing that I'm in jail for? I forgot. Battery domestic violence. I hit somebody? I can't tell you what you did. I wasn't at the scene, okay? All I know is what's happened since you've gotten here. I, I was cool at first. You've been I pretty vocal cool. since you got here. I was real cool. Well, at about 5 a.m., you were threatening my staff in the pre arrest areas, telling them that they better watch out for you because you were violent. I was violent? You I were was making no. jokes. 
Well, I when I first came in, I was making jokes and stuff with people. I wasn't trying to be violent. No, you I were was telling really them that they better make... watch out for you because you are violent, and that's a bad threat. Oh, I threat. said I'm crazy. Yeah, I did say I'm yeah, crazy. Yeah, I know. I did say that. But this is not helping my problem by strapping me in this chair, ma'am. I don't think safety. this. I don't think this is helping me very much. I think this calm. is making me more madder and madder. The longer I sit here, I think I'm just going to get madder and madder, ma'am. Well, I hope so not, why, because why do I have to sit here, ma'am? Because I'm trying to protect you from yourself. You are banging and kicking and hitting your head on a door. I, no, I wasn't hitting my head. I was hitting my feet. If you stay calm mm -hmm. and you work your way out of that chair, I'm going to try and put you in a holding tank like we do everyone else. It's all dependent can, on your behavior. Can you take me out now? No, I can't. I'm not convinced that we're not going to have further problems with you. I'll be okay. I will. Unfortunately, I, it's not that simple. I'll be okay. I okay. just don't like being locked down like this. I can't do jail. got to get out of here. Okay, I'm going to come back and check on you. I'm done. Probably in about 15, 20 minutes. Okay. Okay. We don't like the chair, right? No. All right. You're going to cooperate? Yeah. Okay, we're going to start with your feet. Okay. When we take you out of the chair, we're going to try and get you through the booking process, okay? You haven't had your history in physical or seen our doctor yet? I've seen some man. We need to get that done before anything else can happen, okay? Okay. When you see the doc, you need to let him know about your drinking, so if you need anything while you're here, he can help you. Doc will buy me a beer? No, ma'am. We can't give you any alcohol. Okay, you got okay. it. Stand up for me. Get up. There you go. Step over here. Go ahead. Put it on the wall for me. Did she get padded? Yeah, she was actually, I padded her down. She was actually out there. She got walked to the slide from out there. Yep, all right, come on. Okay. Come with me, okay? Let's get through this process, okay? Put yourself together, okay? Listen, listen to me. When you go out there, don't be loud. Just listen. Listen. Not just yet. Not yet, but you're going to get there, but listen. The longer you, you know, you're loud and stuff like that, the longer it takes for me to get home. You're going to have to you calm have down to before we go out there, okay? You don't have to cry. All right? Pull yourself together before we take you out. All right, hey, come, come on. on the best way. Come on. Okay. Before you know it, you'll be out. Yeah. Okay. 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 So if you need to get up, you need to raise your hand and wait till the officer addresses you, okay? Mm -hmm. Do you understand? The subject was extremely distraught when she came in. She was irritable. She admitted having alcohol on board. Um, as a result of that, we placed her in our restraint chair for a cool down and observation period. Usually we use that as a tool when we're uncertain how people are gonna behave until we get a, a better assessment um, of their cooperation level. It was successful with her. We did take her out. We're trying to get her through the process right now so she can work on getting out of jail. I don't like people that try to sit around and act like they rule the world. Yeah, I'm not racist. I didn't like ghetto people. Don't you rap to get out of the ghetto. I swear to God, I'd sell six albums just to get me to First Street. I swear to God. I'm in Miami, Trent. Be quiet. Take me to the ghetto. All right, over here. I don't come from the Bellagio. Pick me up at Caesar. Oh, I'm in Miami. Get back on your bike. Go on, go ahead, young lady. Sorry. Uh, we noticed her uh, sprinting across Las Vegas Boulevard with her top down. Upon uh, making contact with her, she continued to flash myself and other pedestrians on the street. So we took her into custody, put her back in the vehicle. At that time, she became uh, a rate on cooperative. Um, we found uh, some cocaine in her purse, so that's where we believe she's under the influence of cocaine. Can I dance? <laughs> I'm drunk. I'm having fun. I'm not vicious. <laughs> Still the yeah you still the go sit down hello honey I'm in Miami coming through okay well oh, oh, oh. yes vicious put some panties on you pants stand up let's go I'm in Miami trip stop dancing I don't like pimps or hoes that work for pimps I don't like them don't like them don't like them can't stand them. Nasty. Just awful. Don't like him. I am drunk. Take her right here. Yeah. Hold still. I just don't like gangsters, okay? I don't like pimps. That's disgusting. God! Look at me! 
sure she would be able to see her, so she realized what kind of a fool she looks like. Are they fighting? They're gonna fight. They're gonna fight. They're Why can't we all just get along? Look at her bitches. You because she. Look at her. Yeah, look at her. Look at her. Look at her. She's a good girl. She's been quiet. You're a horrible drunk. Call me a but you act like one ignorant person. What? That's a person. Ignorant. Talk stupid. All right, we need to move around. No, I want to be good. Too late. Walk. Stop. Thank you, officer. Anything for you. You stay there until you've learned your lesson. Yeah, I guess it's another case of uh, chemical stupidity. Huh? Oh my gosh. You're bad, bitch! You're bad! Have you been drinking tonight? No, man, listen. DK, badass guitarist from Chicago. If you're gonna come to jail and bring some tunes, it better be good. He was brought in, had a guitar with him. He was stopped because he tried to steal a beer from a gas station and then uh, started acting like a fool and obstructing officers and we found some weed in one of his socks and the needle in the other. <laughs> All right, can you get the jacket off? Both of them. Zach, you, will you go grab us a shirt? No. Huh? You want to grab us a little shirt? Yes. I will. Take my coat. Ready? And your jacket. This ain't a jacket, it's a shirt. It's a jacket. It's a shirt. Looks like a jacket to me. It's a shirt. Looks like a jacket to me. Don't make a fist, sir. That's the last thing you All want right, to do. Is man, make a fist. damn it! Stay here, stay here. Don't move. Why are you out? Oh. Hold still. All right, man. Go down there. I have the shirt. All right. Do you need help with that? What'd you get arrested for there? Um, uh, zero. Zero. Okay. That doesn't make any sense. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Stay facing forward. Stop. Do not turn. Now look at look at this guy. Yep. He just want to squeeze my. Ah! Put your feet down. Put your feet down. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. You sure? Yes. 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 Let's Please, start I'm hurting. Let's start over, okay? Okay. Okay. Stand, stand up. Okay. All right. Ow. Uh, Come on, get up here. Okay. Hands back up on your head. Is that a little red shirt? Yeah, get him out of here. You got to come over and see medical. Sit down there. He just... Hasn't been listening since he got in here. He's been screaming and yelling at us, wanting to demand everything. And so we're not gonna give him his exact way. We're gonna have him go through the process just like everybody else does. Try to open your eyes. Let's get you out of these cuffs. Stand right here on this line. You're gonna face this direction over here, okay? You're gonna place a little song? I wanna see what you got, man. I hear you're good. Very good. Where'd you learn? Myself. Taught yourself in Chicago? Juliet. Juliet, excellent. I want some, uh, my clothes back. I'll let you have your, you're going to get all your clothes back eventually. Have a seat for just a second. I'll give you back the pants, OK? No, all my change that I had. We got all your change, man. We're going to log it in your property. And let's see what you can do, man. Oh, you want to hear this thing? Yeah, I want you to tune it up and rock it out, bud. Yeah. 
job, buddy. Good job. Did you write that one? Oh, yeah. Did you ever play professionally at all? Yeah. Where at? All over the country. All over the country? He's ready to sign. He's ready to sign. All right, here's the copy of why you're here today. They got you on possession of marijuana, possession of a hypo device, and an obstructing charge. OK? I don't know what the deal is with all those, but that's what they brought you in here for today, OK? And like you said, you are well, I tried marijuana. to get the marijuana for the sergeant. I brought it here for the sergeant. Oh, OK. The so nice Sarge didn't want it. You remember the rules out here, right? All right, have a seat back over here on the left-hand side. Did you enjoy the free jailhouse concert? We don't usually have that often. You know, we don't it get that. Bad. It wasn't bad. You know, I, I mean, thought that it was going to be bad, but it ended up being kind of... calm it was in here? You know, and even the other room kind of calmed thought. down. Yeah. People, people like, are listening. People are listening. Maybe we could bring them in more often just to play every once in a while. Yeah. I'm gonna go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home, I've been thinking about my kids. I don't wanna be alone, I gotta get.